Namaskaram. Tales from the past guide the present to enrich the future. Children are the best ambassadors of these tales, or rather katha in the Indian context. These are stories of wit, morals learnt, values, motivation and wisdom. Let's pause and soak in this experience. Katha Canopy by the students of Antara Centre for Performing Arts. Namaskaram everyone. Today, I am going to narrate a story of Krishna and Narakasra. Narakasra was the son of Bhudevi and Varaha. Though he was a divine child, he had the nature of a demon through his association with demon Banasura. Narakasra was very powerful and took pleasure in terrorizing people and especially women on earth. He would ill-treat and insult women. Now that he had conquered the earth, he wanted to conquer the Swargaloka too. One of his courtiers said, Devas are mortal. They can easily overpower us. Hearing that, Narakasra became very angry. Then his courtier gave a suggestion. O oh Maharaja, please do penance to Lord Brahma and get a boon to be immortal. Narakasra replied, I will immediately go and do penance to Lord Brahma. Narakasra went into a dense forest and began to meditate. Days, months and even years passed. Then Lord Brahma appeared before him. Brahma said, Narakasra, I am very happy with your penance. Please ask me whatever you want. Narakasra says, O oh Lord, all I want to be is immortal. But to that Brahma said, that is not possible as everyone who is born must die. Ask me a boon that I can give you. Then Narakasra thought, Lord Brahma will never give me this boon as he supports Devas. So he thinks for a while and asks, Please grant me a boon to die only in the hands of my mother. Brahma granted the same. Narakasra knew no mother would kill their own child, so he is as good as a mortal. With his new power, Narakasra headed towards Indraloka. Knowing Narakasra cannot be defeated, Indra flees from Indraloka. Narakasra and his men imprison all the Indraloka kanyas and also insults and steals the earrings of Mata Aditi, mother of Indra. Narakasra tells his men to search for Indra everywhere. Meanwhile, Indra goes to Lord Vishnu and seeks his help. To that, Lord Vishnu says, Do not worry, Narakasra's end is near. I am born on earth as Krishna and his wife, Satyabhama, a reincarnation of Narakasra's mother, Humi Devi. Go and seek their help. Indra reaches Krishna's palace and tells him the whole story about Narakasra and seeks his help. Satyabhama gets really angry and says, How can Narakasra insult a woman and that too a divine mother like Aditi? She asks Krishna that they should go and kill Narakasra. Krishna tells her, you're just a woman. How can you kill him? Let me handle it. To that Satyabhama says, have you forgotten I was a warrior and have been in the battlefield before with you? To that Krishna says, you can be my charioteer. A fierce battle starts. Krishna in the battlefield also kills Mura, the demon. That's why he's also called Murari. Now the battle starts between Krishna and Narakasra. As per Krishna's plan, he pretended to be fatally injured by Narakasra's weapon. An enraged Satyabhama, seeing her husband fall down on the battlefield, takes out her bow and arrow and aims at Narakasra's heart. Immediately, he falls to the ground and is too about to die. 
At once, Narakasra realizes Satyabhama is the reincarnation of his mother, Pudevi. And even Satyabhama realizes the same. She feels really sad. But to that, Krishna says, Narakasra got his end because of his mistakes and sins. This day will be celebrated as Naraka Chaturdasi by lighting lamps. From that day to this day, to honor Bhumi Devi, who killed her own son to restore justice and peace, Diyas are lit the day before Deepavali. Namaskaram!